Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's Eric Coffin. I'm here at the pre-PDAC Toronto Metal Investors Forum, March 1st, 2024. Uh, I'm here with Caleb Stroop. He's the CEO of one of the companies that I invited to present with me, Headwater Gold. Uh, Headwater trades in the CSE, HWG, and I believe with QX in the US, it's HWAUF. Uh, Headwater is a project developer. Uh, uh, what I like about this company is, you know, it's a very strong technical group. Uh, they, they, spick, they picked a very specific model in a sort of specific area, I guess, Western U.S. based in a range. You know, they're, they're looking for high grade epithermal. They're sort of, you, can, you could say they're specializing in that, but, but what they've been doing uh, that I think makes it such an interesting story and why they've already had some success is they're, they're not just going back and, you know, drilling stuff that has 500 holes in it and looking at a few ounces here or there to drill an infill hole. They're, they're doing true greenfields target generation and testing, and they've had a lot of success. Um, maybe you can give us a thumbnail of what's happened in the last couple of years, and then we can talk about where, where things go in 2024. Yeah, so it's been a very busy few years for us. We listed uh, just over two years ago. And in that time, we've mounted, I think, uh, eight or nine drill programs on different projects uh, yeah. across the Western U.S. Uh, and have been able to do that in large part because we've been able to structure uh, an, a strategic alliance with Newmont right. to advance all that exploration. As you said, we're focused on brand new discoveries, early stage exploration, which in my view, is the direction to go because we need to make new gold discoveries then the majors need to bring in new deposits online to keep their pipeline flat if yeah. not increasing over right. the coming years and so the majors are focused on that and that's our ultimate buyer is right. the majors. so we're looking for major size deposits in jurisdictions where they want to mine and to do that you got to take a lot of big swings yeah and the way that you take a lot of big swings is to bring in capital from explorers who understand the business, understand uh, what constitutes success on a technical front, and use their dollars in conjunction with your own right. uh, to maximize the amount of exploration that you can do towards that goal of making new discoveries. Okay, and the, yeah, I mean, you, you've done a couple of major drill programs that one project's been Spring Peak and Spring Peak is a legitimate bona fide discovery. You want to you want to talk about that discovery a little bit? Yeah, so it's it's early days in that. Uh, still, we've okay. got you know just over twenty holes into the the, the discovery we made there, um, but that was a project that we made a blind epithermal vein discovery underneath a barren center at surface using a very specific targeting model that we apply to all of our projects. And this happens to be one that is just a textbook example of a center with a high grade epithermal vein underneath it. Yeah. Uh, we found it with some self-funded scout drilling ourselves, but really made the discovery with that first core program funded by Newmont, uh, which was last year, 2022. and then this year followed up with 20 some additional holes and are now building size and scale and demonstrating it's open in all directions and now beginning to have the confidence to, to view this and chase it as sort of a district scale uh, structural target. The, the main controlling feature is fairly understood now and we can take some bigger swings and, and obviously we're looking for a tier one size, Newmont size asset or they wouldn't be here. Right, uh, and we think that there's the potential for that. But as I said, it's still early days, and continued success and exciting results out of that. But these things take, you know, some amount of time to to develop. But we're on the right trajectory for sure. Yeah, and I mean, you're waiting to you're waiting to work with this year's JV budget, but you know, odds are there's going to be quite a bit of drilling at Spring Peak. There should also later this year be some drilling at at your Lodestar project, which is now part of was added, I guess that joint venture, but it, it, again, it's a very similar, you know, the way you found it and what you're targeting is, is very similar to Spring Spring. Yeah, I mean, many of our projects share a lot of the same geologic characteristics. Lodestar is a good example of, you know, what we think is a fully preserved epithermal system that looks an awful lot like Spring Peak itself, pre-drilling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, I think, 
There's four very shallow historic holes from the 80s that are less than 100 meters that aren't even in the, the target area that we're focused on. Right. Um, and so we spent the last uh, nine months or so doing the targeting work, did a little bit of geophysics and some surface work uh, to build some confidence in, in the exact targets that we want to drill. Uh, the permitting process is now kicked off and we're looking to receive permits for that this year and drill that uh, probably in the fall, uh, mm -hmm. potentially post a spring peak drill program, take that on to the end. Okay, and you're still, you know, you're still working on, on project generation. I mean, you've got, you know, in, in addition to the four or five <clears throat> projects that are joint venture with Newmont, you still have a bunch of 100% own ones that you're moving forward. And I, I think you guys are always on the hunt for, for new ones. Yeah, so we have about a dozen projects in the portfolio. We've always had about a dozen projects in the portfolio, but they're not the same projects that we started with because right. we continually look to drill. Or, well, sometimes they don't even make it to the drill right. stage. You know, we do the on the ground evaluation work, say this isn't what we're looking for. We're moving on and going to find uh, new, new projects to upgrade the portfolio. Sometimes we uh, drill them with one round of scout drilling. If it doesn't show what we need to see to continue, again, we move on. And so that sort of process has continued. I mean, we're talking about a couple with Spring Peak and Lodestar that are you know, on the successful side of that, that are moving ahead. Yeah. Uh, and there's some new projects coming in that uh, you know, are the fruits of that early stage generative work. Uh, coming into the portfolio, continually upgrading the story and providing, you know, additional targets to to continue this business model moving forward. And we're only getting better and better at uh, understanding and recognizing the features of these epithermal systems as we drill them. This is, right. you know, we drilled nine of them, and we know what works and and what doesn't. How to most efficiently utilize geophysics for targeting work, surface geochemistry, and and you know, old fashioned. Uh, straight up alteration and lithologic structural mapping, um, you know, to, to do the baseline work to build our, our confidence that we've got a good target here that demands drilling. And so there's a few of those within the 100% side of the portfolio that have uh, risen up to the drill stage uh, and are, we, we may or may not drill, uh, you know, one, two, three projects this year. We'll always look to drill, you right. know, this is, it's typically been one or two hundred percent funded projects a year. Right. Uh, I'd like to do something like that. We have three million in cash, so we won't have to raise money necessarily to, to mount a, a small scout drilling program. Right. Um, but I'm probably not going to go you know, raise $10 million yeah. and drill two, two, four projects this yeah. year uh, in less market conditions to significantly change. And, uh, and you know, we have a reasonable expectation that uh, we'll be rewarded for yeah. that success. Well, hopefully today is a harbinger of things to come. I mean, that is and the, the point you made, and I think it's really important is if you're going to be, you know, if you're gonna own a company that specializes in greenfield exploration, it, it's critical that management doesn't fall in love with stuff. I mean, you've got to, you know, the simple, simple, you know, the simple math of situations. If you're starting with, you know, brand new greenfield targets, you're you're basically going to want to boot half of them out, you know, for almost every year. Like you, and management's got to be willing to do that rather than just kind of hang on, and hang on, because you got a good rock sample here or a good geochem snip over there. I've always known you guys are pretty brutal about just moving on, but that's what you, that's what you got to do. That's how you do this efficiently. Yeah, we're, we're operating with a finite amount of capital and personnel and time and energy. And you have to make sure as management that that's devoted to your best probability of success for your shareholders yeah. in any given day. So Headwater Gold, HWG on the uh, CSE. This is a you know great company, really good management team. They they've managed to get a lot done, get a very very strong JV agreement with a major, kept the share structure fairly tight because of that. Still got three million in the bank. You know if you if you if you love discovery plays like I do, you you look for management teams that that have a process that works and they know how to apply it, and they know the rocks, and they know the model, and they know where to go looking for new targets, and that's. That's pretty much what Headwater is all about. I mean, they've been generating great targets and had success on two or three of them already, you know, from day one. And I think they're just going to keep doing it. And, 
you know, ultimately, I think, you know, these guys find something with the scale and the grade where they become irresistible to someone. <laughs> and then uh, and then we all take our chips and go home. That's the plan. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, Caleb. Thank you.